Hello fellow citizens, this is uh, Scotty D with Icarus Interstellar Incorporated. Um, uh, not too long ago I posted up a couple of videos uh, about my T-Flight X HOTAS and doing configurations on it and uh, I had uh, someone that watched it that uh, made a comment about having an issue with uh, how the inputs were showing up in the key bindings uh, when he was trying to do, uh, set his throttle uh, it was coming up as uh, Z axis input 2 uh, so uh, I have had the, the experience of that and so I figured I, I, I'd share with you guys um, so here you see my peripherals uh, set up here and you can see my T flight hotas here um, And as you can see, I'm moving my throttle there. You can see that my Z-axis is going back and forth like it's supposed to. Um, and Windows is, is nice in the fact that it allows you to have multiple peripherals. And, uh, and so what I had happened for me when uh, I had noticed this particular incident uh, is that my son had plugged in a gamepad controller. And I'm plugging that in now and you can see there that it's uh it's just showed up there and it also has a Z axis uh, controller and uh in, in, in the post that I put replied on it saying telling him about this I said that I wasn't sure uh, why uh, Windows had made my HOTAS uh, input 2 at the time, but it has to do with which controller is plugged in first. So apparently my son had unplugged the HOTAS and then plugged his controller in and then replugged my HOTAS in and so it became input 2. Uh, so just to demonstrate here, uh, here's the game behind us here. And uh, here's where you go into your options, your key bindings. I'll go over here to joystick and select the advanced options. Okay, so we go to movement here. And I'm going to go and, and just pick one that I've got blank. Uh, let's do straight forward. Here's straight forward. So go here to set this. Now moving the X on the, I'm sorry, the Z on the game controller and you can see there it says input 2 okay uh, everything on this is input 2 because it was plugged in second so uh, what I'm thinking for the person who is having the uh, the, the problem with this hotas right now uh, is that you've got either another controller plugged in that was plugged in before your hotas in which case all you need to do is unplug it and let the system reset uh, not necessarily that you got to reboot it but just let the it'll it'll see that it's gone away it'll take it off and then uh, either leave it that way or maybe unplug your OTAS and then plug your OTAS back in so it resets it again and that should make everything on your OTAS the primary input and then when you come back in here Instead of that, you should see that. And it's, it's popping that up if you have, you know, I already have my throttle set to, to Z as well as the decoupled stripe. Uh, so you would just set it that way and then say yes. Um, so give that a try. Uh, hopefully that'll take care of your problem. Um, uh, the uh, if if you don't have a gamepad controller plugged in, maybe it's some other input device uh, that that the system is associating to Z, and so uh, that's why you're seeing input two on that. So if you're not quite sure, you might just try unplugging you know whatever USB connectors are in beside your your mouse and keyboard, and uh, and give that a try. 
So I, I really hope that helps. Um, Again, this is uh, Scotty D with Icarus Interstellar Incorporated. And uh, I'm going to do, they also had questions about exporting and importing profiles. I'm going to be making a, a video for that. So I so hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you in the verse.